Well, it looks like somebody in the automotive industry has grown a set of balls. That's right. And it's Ford. Tell me how backwards that is. Damn. For the longest time. Whoa. For the longest time. What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And I saw this over on Car Buzz uh, through Microsoft. I'll put it up here on the screen for you. But the Ford CEO says he's done making boring mainstream cars. Uh, Ford makes some truly exciting cars like the Mustang, 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 yeah, Mustang GTD and its various Raptor off-road vehicles. But when it comes to mainstream vehicles, the CEO Jim Farley believes the company can do better. He told the UK's car magazine that the automaker is done with dull cars that don't excite consumers. We're getting out of the boring car business and into the iconic vehicle business. Would always competed at the heart of the passenger car market, which didn't work out too well for Mondeo, Focus, and Fiesta. Farley notes that while these vehicles were beloved by customers, they just never justify more capital allocation. Damn. And they talk about all the Fords and stuff that were killed off. And for me, this is cool. I mean, if Ford is going to actually get back to making stuff that's cool like i don't know a new thunderbird or um you know revitalizing lincoln i mean i thought they were going in the right direction i don't want to say that the 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 continental was bad it was the concept car was dope as hell with the suicide doors i know they couldn't do that i guess in the production car but I've, I've owned the Lincoln Continental. It was a great car. I loved that car. And I hate like push button transmissions and all that Etzel esque stuff. But it was cool, man. It just worked. It was awesome. And um, I had a, I felt like, uh, granted, it wasn't, it's not an ultimate driving machine. It didn't feel like one of my BMWs. But it, um, it handled perfectly fine, man. It was a great, car for me to get around and i had the 3.7 liter uh v6 i didn't have the twin turbo 3.0 i didn't have uh this was the lease i ended up buying a black label with the 3.0 from copart that we rebuilt several years ago this is back in like 2019 before i really started getting into videos but uh i love the continentals they were great and it's the same thing with um a lot of their cars you know, their cars weren't horrible. You know what I'm saying? They just, they didn't inspire anything, right? And it would be cool to see, you know, they've had four-door Thunderbirds with the suicide doors in the, what, the late 60s, I believe, early 70s. It would be cool to see Ford get back to making stuff that people want to go buy, right? Somebody has to take a lead here in the market and not just be making cookie cutter stuff that they can push out in mass. I'd much rather you have a car company that makes cars that, as they said, are iconic and interesting and different and cool like it used to be. You know, I feel like the generations before us, the people that had like the 57, 55 Chevy, 57, the Cadillacs in the early 50s, like the 52, where the gas cap was under the tail light. That stuff was cool, man. It was it was just different. And I know I'm on my old man-ish right now, but I'm just saying that stuff was cool. It was different. Even the big boats of the 70s, I love like a 75 Caprice convertible. Man, God, I love that thing, man. We just got to get back to making stuff that other people around the world go, damn, I want one of those. We don't do that anymore. Anyways. Let me know what you guys think about this story in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.